Millions of tourists visit Greece to enjoy its ancient sites and pristine beaches, but the country is dealing with frequent droughts, and there are now concerns over how water is used. Our correspondent of Angelo Sipsas reports. While this dam is empty, these swimming pools are full. It's a common sight at popular tourist destinations here on the island of Sifnos. But this summer it has become a subject of debate due to frequent water shortages. So many pools are being built. We will discuss this matter at the next council meeting. For many years, the municipality has not agreed on using water to fill pools. We consider this a problem, but it is not the only one. Just a few hundred meters from the city hall lies Narlis Farms, run by George Narlis, a third generation farmer. Right now, his farm should be full of different kinds of melons, but instead, it looks like a cemetery for fruit and vegetables. Pools are not an issue. I've told the mayor that. A pool uses 5 to 10 tonnes of water once in the summer. Conversely, a farm needs 10 tonnes every day. That's a lot of water. There should be regulations on how much water we can use for our farms, just like everything else. We need action now, otherwise farms like mine will start to disappear. Like many Kiklaudis islands, Sifnos faces water shortages. It's down to multiple factors, including limited fresh water resources, seasonal fluctuation in demand caused by tourism, and the impact of climate change. The island traditionally relies on collecting rainwater, but there has been no rain for months. As a result, authorities have to transport water in. Scientists say that if the infrastructure was up to date, then the impact would have been less. The problem relates to inadequate maintenance and the lack of organization. We're also facing huge problems with infrastructure. In many cases, losses in the networks exceed 20%. The aging of the networks is what causes these problems. So we must immediately focus on this, particularly in areas where we've fallen behind. We need to take action. Now, a state of emergency has been declared here on Sifnos, and action is underway. Desalinization plants have been set up. There are also campaigns to pursue people to use less water. But climate experts warn that if radical policies are not taken at a central government level, then scenes like this dried-up dam could be more of a reality. Evangelos Epsas for CGTN from the island of Sifnos.